Hey guys, so just before this video starts, I'd just like to make it clear that I didn't come up with the recipe for this fudge. All the credit for this goes to Spice Bangler, so check out their channel, they do some great recipes for some food. I haven't looked at all of them to be fair, but they all look really good and tasty, so thanks very much to Spice Bangler for giving this recipe uh, to the general public to use. My ingredients were Nestle's condensed milk, Belgian dark cooking chocolate, ordinary dark chocolate, and then some milk chocolate. I've actually forgotten use a container. After some scavenging I found a dish for hearty beef pie. Hopefully it will work just as well for fudge. Okay so I'm going to start by buttering this, uh, I don't know, let's just call it a container. I can't remember what to call it right now. For clarification I did rinse the dish before applying the butter. Ah! I need scissors. I've got some. It would be preferable to uh, have a more rectangular shape thing, but this is what we this is what we have, so it's what we're going with, all right. I just saw a nice recipe and I decided, hey, that seems simple enough for my small brain. I'll use that. So we're just going to start by placing this down like so, and now to set another strip. Thank you very much to my brother for filming this and helping me out. So shout out him. Check out his channel. I'll put it in the description. Yeah, now let's butter up this part as well. And now we'll stick this in here. Right. Yeah. In the video I believe they use uh, proper parchment paper. This is kind of... this isn't proper parchment paper I don't think, but it does the job. So we've now buttered this up. It doesn't matter too much if it, that it's not completely straight. It's okay. Right, so let's set this off to the side. Now comes the part where I stab my brother. <laughs> nah, okay. Um, we've got three types of chocolate here today. The recipe did say semi-sweet dark chocolate, but I mean, we don't. I don't know exactly know what that is. And at the end of the day. I mean, I'm sure it's fine to have some milk chocolate, so I just threw in some milk chocolate in there just to make up for not having semi-sweet dark chocolate. Boy, it's satisfying taking it off. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? So yeah, we need 300 grams of that dark chocolate. And here there were 200 grams, so I reckon... Yeah, 200 grams of here, so I reckon... Once I let's, I'll break this up into segments first. This is actually kind of tough to break, to be honest. Yeah, that's not actually the chocolate cracking, those are my fingers. Although the recipe did say to chop up the chocolate, it was a bit tough for me, so I decided just to break it up. I have a feeling this is a bit too over the top. I, don't, I feel I don't really need to chop it up like this. So you know what, I'm just going to break it up into smaller pieces. So this knife is pretty much pointless. But that's fine, yeah. I'll, I'll just break it up into these little pieces. These, these, this is fine. Okay, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a weakling. I'm no Hercules, so I can't break all of these pieces up. Right, so this is all this Belgian dark chocolate that I've got here. But um, we're not done yet, so... That's 200, we need another 200. Yet yeah, there are... No, we need another 100. And each one of these uh, normal chocolates, Sainsbury's Basics, you can never go wrong. Um, these ones have 100 each, so what I'm going to think I'll do is uh, put 50-50, you know? 50-50. And the rest of it we can just eat because it's whatever. Right, well I guess... Because I'll cut this in half to be honest. Oh, there we go. How easy was that? Alright. Uh, let's put that one in. Right, I'll put this back in its wrapping. I'll put that away for the moment. I'll, I'll my family can have that if they want. Alrighty then. So now, let's break this up as well. This is much easier to break up than that Belgian chocolate. Ah. Oh. Those cracks are very satisfying to the ear. This is an awful lot of chocolate when you look at it. Um, hopefully it's not too much. Alright, so now let's... We already have loads of dark chocolate. So you know what? We don't even make it too chocolatey. I'll put... This is about... Oh, I don't know. A third, roughly. Just over a third of the dark chocolate in here. I'm not that big of a fan of dark chocolate, personally. But since we're mixing this with condensed milk, it's going to be pretty sweet already. So I feel that it's fine to... Uh, it's fine. It's fine. No worries. I've got this stuff covered. Alright. 
So we got all the chocolate here. Nice one. Now we've got this condensed milk. Well, there was actually a bit of trouble finding this, to be honest. Sainsbury's uh, had its own brand of evaporated milk, but not condensed milk. And I needed evaporated milk. No, no, I needed condensed milk. That was annoying, and this was the only one available, Nestle. It does say cook with, so I'm not sure this is meant really for uh, making this pouch with, but uh, oh well, it's it's fine, no worries. So, what, here's the uh, oh, it's time to open the can and lose a few fingers in the process. You know, I'm going to give this thing a rinse first. Shout out to my mum, by the way, for actually uh, cleaning the cooker. Otherwise, it wouldn't look too good in this video. And I nearly stabbed myself on that uh, screwy thing. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give myself tetanus. All right. So let's just do that. Nice one. All right. So unfortunately, this is one of the cans that don't come with one of those uh, things you can just pull off. So I am going to have to do this. But that's all right. We don't have an electric can opener, but <laughs> electric can openers and openers are weaklings. We're we're we're. Uh, a real behemoth right here. I know I said I wasn't Hercules earlier, but that's because I'm Zeus. Hehe, <laughs> heck yeah. Anyway. Yeah, believe it or not, under this jumper, I'm just teeming with muscle. Alright, right, so once this is all done, I'm gonna... Um, put, I'm gonna pop this all together into that pot over there. Yeah. Thanks, Anthony. For the... Oh, look at that. Look at that. It looks just like, um... Um... Uh, yeah, let, let's, let's not delve into that. Alright, so let's put this chocolate off to the side, because you don't need this anymore. Let's put this wrapper in the bin, so... Yeet. Don't need this knife anymore, either. Alright, so it's time to mix it all together now. Nice. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. I have... Okay, not too close to my face. <laughs> we don't want to see my nostril hairs. That's actually quite nice, to be honest. I don't think I've ever actually tried condensed milk by itself, because... I don't know, I mean, it's condensed milk. It's not exactly something you would just gulp on a daily basis. Um, of course, it kind of looks like custard. Right, let's, let's just let's wait for that to dribble out. Yeah, could we get a close-up there of it just dribbling out? Nice. Alright, that's mostly scooped out. Um, right, let's put this off to the side. Let's uh, have a quick taste of this condensed milk. Apparently it's meant to be very sweet. Oh, it's really, really very sweet. That's like icing almost. I'm going to try some, man. Oh, okay, not nice. <laughs> <laughs> not nice. I kind of like it, but then again, I don't mind some very sweet stuff. Right then, so that's, you know, I don't even need the knife now, but I'm going to make this extra special. I'm going to push it in like this. Let's just, let's just push all this chocolate in. Yeah, oh, okay, some chocolate actually fell. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, this is kind of a messy thing. That's fine. Alright then, it's time to play with fire. Okay. Right, this is sweet, this is good. This is a nice, simple recipe. So, Spice Bang, bang but I think that's the channel. Thanks for that. This has actually had quite a bit of fun. So hopefully it's just turned out well. First off, I need to check the cooker's actually on. Yeah, alright, cooker is on. No. I think I'm a little special. So let's put this on low heat. If you could get a nice close up. And let's just start mixing this stuff. Oh goodness me, this stuff is thick. That could be taken out of context. Um, okay, so let's. So I'm just going to mix this around. It said uh, four, to, four to five minutes or so. There we go, yeah, that's melting together quite nicely now, actually, but... Hmm. I remember seeing in the comment section of the video that I took this recipe from, that, um... It's very similar to a sort of Brazilian candy. Um, can't remember the name, but I think if you had butter... Yeah, yeah, Brigadeiro or something, that's what my brother's telling me, so yeah. But, see, even my brother knows more about this than I do. One time I went to Cambridge and I bought, uh, a load of fudge for 22 quid. Um, not the wisest investment, to be honest because I didn't even end up eating much of it. It was my family, really. Um, but yeah, that was a... 
I, I was there and it was, uh, I think it was like £19 for two pieces, which sounds a lot, but they are very big pieces and a good fudge. Or maybe it might be, actually maybe not two pieces, it was probably four pieces for £19. But I think you can get, an, you could have gotten another like two more for 22 which isn't bad value considering everything. So I was like, hey, why not? I know it's the first time I've been there and I got it. And it was very nice fudge to be honest, it just, I don't know, maybe not the best investment. Let's just keep stirring this a little bit. Bring in this, just do that. And let's, let's pour it all in, shall we? Oh yeah, that's actually getting, it's getting pretty thick to be honest, let's just, let's try and uh, flatten this out a little bit, shall we? It's going to be very round uh, fudge. If we hit a hundred likes on this video, I'll make a souffle. Yeah, that's not a huge jump in skill at all, is it? Going from two ingredient fudge to a souffle. Nah, we probably won't get to a hundred likes anyway, so haha. <laughs> Right, so that's uh, more or less done scraping off. That actually tastes good. Uh, so I think what we'll do now, we'll um, so put it in the fridge, we'll give it some time to set. Well, after fully flanning it out. Need to flatten it out a bit more first, but yeah. This is, uh, this is looking good. That's good. So we're gonna, gonna let that set for about three or four hours, or maybe overnight, but We'll probably come back to it in the evening, and uh, when that happens, I'll show you guys, and you can see how good it looks, and hopefully it will taste good as well. So see you in about I don't know four hours time. After about four hours and a little bit of poking, the fudge was set. It's time to unwrap it. It's been about probably probably more than four hours at this point. But as you can see, it's it's very solid. It's not really coming out. So hopefully the whole uh, buttering thing with the parchment paper or baking paper, whatever it's called, hopefully it should work out. Okay. Nice. So it's it's almost like a chocolate fudge pizza. But to be honest, I don't actually think I don't think it was necessary to. I guess it's more kind of necessary to butter the bottom of the dish so that this would actually uh, stick to it. That's a cow pie. It does look like a cow pat a little bit, doesn't it? To be fair, it's coming out of the uh, paper quite easily. So, I think, yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just turn it over. There you go. It's like a solid cow pat. Alrighty then, so let's, let's just cut off a small bit and let's see what it tastes like. I'll take a piece as well. What do you think? Okay, but very strong. Sweet or? Dark chocolate is strong. Alright, but it's not too sweet, is it? No. That's good, because I was worried about being too sweet. And it kind of melts in your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah, that's actually quite nice, you know. I think next time I might, uh, I might keep it in the fridge for a bit longer to make it go harder. Because some fudge, this is quite soft fudge. I'd say this was a success, you know, it's good. So yeah, thanks to Spice Bangler, the recipe is on uh, YouTube, and I'll leave a link in the description for it. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd say it's fine without the semi-sweet dark chocolate. Maybe a little strong like Anthony said, but uh, it's pretty good I'd say. So yeah, so there we are. Despite looking an awful lot like a frozen cow pat, the fudge actually tasted quite nice. I was slightly worried that it would be a bit too sweet considering that I had used some milk chocolate, but all in all I felt it had quite a decent flavour as far as fudge goes. Again, all credit to Spice Bangler for the recipe. If you want to see any more cooking videos similar to this one, let me know in the comments and I'll see how this video does. I really hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.